What's up, Nate? Hope things are well with you. Um, looking forward to seeing you at my bachelor party coming up here in a week and a half or so. Um, hope you're doing something fun for yours and looking out for that invite as well. Um, but anyway, yeah, Pete wanted us to send these videos. Um, so yeah, happy birthday. And yeah, again, looking out for that invite to your bachelor party. Um, and yeah, you and Jess are great together. See you later. What's up, Nate? Happy bachelor party. Coming at you at 1.45 on a Wednesday here. Guess this is Pete's idea of a good time. Um, I don't know what other people are doing with these videos, but uh, I thought I would use mine to celebrate two aspects of your personality, which I just, which I just love. And uh, the way I want to do that is going back to some really old Facebook messages. I couldn't go back far enough in texts, emails, they've been lost to time and whisk mail, but what I do have is one side of our Facebook conversations from 2008 and 2009. And I feel like these really demonstrate two things. First, your um, uh, utter politeness and friendliness, and second, your complete inability and unwillingness to suffer bullshit of any type. So here we go. June 26th, 2008. Nate added you as a friend on Facebook. Nate says, hey, I think I'm your roommate next year at Madison. June 28th, 2008, Nate wrote on your wall, yeah, when do you have to go to SOAR? June 29th, 2008, I don't know what I said. Nate goes, I went on June 23rd and 24th. It was pretty boring and the dorms kind of sucked. July 6th, 2008, Nate wrote on your wall, do you know what you're going to major in in college? I probably said some bullshit there. And then Nate wrote back, yeah, as of right now, it is engineering, but that could change within the next few years. By the way, I got a free microwave for the room. <laughs> so that's 2008. And then there's a gap, I guess, when we're you know actually hanging out in, in the dorms and, and seeing each other. But then the next one is in 2009, July 12th, 2009. Nate posted something on your wall, God knows what, and wrote, I'm pretty sure Minnesota is the only state that says gray duck, and I have no idea why. I will do my best to change it for you, but the majority of the little shits are already brainwashed into the gray duck thinking. How has the summer been treating you since you left Minnesota? <laughs> um, all right, that's all I got on those. Uh, let me just wrap up by saying, if you had asked me uh, whether I thought that marriage was around the corner from you, for you when um, <clears throat> when we jumped in, the, in Mendota with those random girls from Chasers, I guess I would have had to say no, not because of the random girls, but um, because I think the uh, the risk of fatal hypothermia was pretty high there. Um, in all seriousness, congratulations. Uh, hit them straight this week weekend, <clears throat> and I'll see you in June. Hey, Nate. It's your buddy, Paul. Um, we, we went to high school together at Hopkins and then we uh, we met at Madison on the intramural basketball team. Just wanna say huge congratulations to you, buddy. Um, heard you're getting married, that's awesome. Jess, is, you guys are a perfect match. I'm, I'm really bummed that I'm gonna be missing your bachelor party because um, that's Saturday of Memorial, oh, that's this Saturday. I, I actually think uh, I should be there. Uh, I'm actually gonna be at, I'll be there. I'm, <laughs> So I'm excited for, I think that's two days from now. I'm excited to see you. And uh, I just, I value you as a friend, I guess, more than all these other uh, cameos because I don't think they're gonna be there. So um, yeah, let, let's, you wanna, uh, next drink's on me. I'll, I, I'll see you, I'll see you probably right now. This is, this is cool. You're the best, Nate. I love you, man. I want the time of my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was so cringy. Your friend told me that it was your bachelor party and that you only go to Pitbull concerts and you want to be a singy Pitbull. And I've never done that. So um, instead, I'm going to just say <laughs> congratulations for your bachelor party. And if you have a kid, you should definitely name it Mary Jo. And in honor of your bachelor party, I'm going to show you my favorite flask. It doesn't have a lid because I broke it. And then I hope you have some Jim Bean and vodka tonight because that's what we're doing. And honestly, just have a great life and happy bachelor party. And your friend Pete is an awesome friend, so keep him around. Oh wait, this is a good part. I work my ass off, but I still get paid though. I can see why you go to Pitbull concerts because honestly, I love Pitbull. 
Uh, maybe I should go to a Pitbull concert. Here's the good part. Um, yeah. Happy bachelor party. <laughs> hey Nate. Congrats on your engagement and on the uh, on the upcoming wedding. I was just here watching um, youth soccer practice and it reminded me of you. It's been so great watching you go from biggest dick on the team to the fine young man that you are now. And uh, so congrats and I hope you have a great bachelor party. Hey everyone, hey Nate. Hope you guys are having a fun weekend. I heard there was golf involved, so hopefully you had a nice day. Um, I wanted to share a few things that I've learned about Nate over the years and why I'm certain that you guys are gonna have a great lifetime ahead of you. So starting in college, you know, Nate, you were always um, quieter at first. Uh, it took a while for you to come out of your shell, um, except that right away, you were very much not quiet on any sort of sport, event, um, competition, uh, really brought something out of you that I didn't always see day to day. Um, you know, it did take me, I think, a full three years to recruit you onto our Bradley Ballers um, completely defeated uh, co-ed basketball team, but you showed up in the end. Uh, so was happy to have you at least for one year, which we did have, uh, I believe, at least one victory during. Um, the other funny story that sticks out to me is uh, there was a point at which I made you a sandwich at a party and I had been going through a phase of just eating um, bread with cream cheese and cucumbers on it. That was my, my sandwich structure. Um, and I offered you one of those and you ate it and you came back to me and told me that that was just a great sandwich um, and that I was gonna make someone really happy someday as, as their wife. And I thought that comment was hilarious first, but also I just think enjoying such a simple thing in life and um, being appreciative uh, is going to go far in a marriage. Um, I'm not an expert at this point, but I think it will help. Um, so I don't know why that sticks out, but I, I found that very funny. Um, and then I think about our Alaska trip where, um, if you recall, I packed for that trip after attending the Chicago Pride Parade, um, which meant I had drank um, too much. So I had packed mostly sundresses for our, you know, eight day hiking adventure through Alaska. Um, so I really relied mostly on your suitcase um, and you really came through. You were endlessly supportive to my basically ignorance of what it meant to hike and be in nature uh, for that long. Um, and I learned a lot <laughs> under your leadership through the adventure. Uh, and I think, again, that sense of adventure and sense of helping someone through something for the first time also will go a long way in a marriage. Um, and then I was just reflecting on the first time that I met Jess. Uh, so I had heard a lot about uh, Jess and was very excited to meet her. And I, it was in Madison and I was working at a coffee shop and you both walked in and I literally leapt up out of my chair and Jess and I did this, you know, dance hug motion that resulted in me just whacking her coffee out of her hand all over. And we were, you know, we jointly decided it was too mortifying to go up to that coffee shop and, and request another coffee after spilling all over. Uh, so we had to go down the street to another coffee shop. But um, I will probably be equally excited at the wedding, but I will try to refrain from knocking any beverages out of her hand, especially given the white dress scenario. Um, but really, in all seriousness, um, best wishes. I'm so excited for uh, June 18th. Uh, can't wait to see you guys and celebrate. So see you soon. First man, Nate. So we at the net. I'm cooking up some dude. Wow, wow. And you know, I'm from Milwaukee, so I've never, ever seen help defense in my life. Come through. Mean crossover. Uh, come through. I'm thinking I got a clean back, laying to the basket. Nate come. Steal the ball from me. Go all the way down there and score. I don't know if you remember this, but I will never forget that. Then, 
talk about another time he stole, he stole my tattoos. I was the first one to originate this concept. As you see, then they come up, pop up. He got the same tattoos as I do. Last, most important, he stole my fantasy football championship. Unbelievable. And then what he go do with the money? He went and donated it. So you couldn't even be mad. I'm like, I'm happy he won. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's no better outcome, but no, for real. Uh, all seriousness, Nate, man, I want to uh, congratulate you, man. Um, I'll see you soon, so uh, have fun, and then good luck. I'll see you soon. Hey, Nate, it's Claire. I wanted to congratulate you on your engagement. That is so exciting. Um, I heard you could actually use a little bit of help out on the golf course. Well, I got a couple tips for you. Um, so my top tip for all golfers is to just keep a good attitude on the course. Um, stay positive, think positive. Um, don't break your clubs, don't throw your clubs. I know you don't do any of that, Nate. So obviously you don't even have to think about that one, but keep a good attitude, step number one. Step number two, just drink a lot. Um, Make sure you're drinking a lot on the course, water or otherwise, stay hydrated with something. Um, and then if neither of those work, I would just actually recommend maybe picking a different sport. You know, golf isn't for everyone. Golf's tough. It's technical. So maybe try something a little simpler, um, like croquet maybe. Um, could be fun. But no, in all seriousness, I heard you need a little bit of help with the slices. I got you. I'm actually going to be coming out with a little bit more in-depth video with the She Sisters here, maybe in a couple weeks. Keep an eye out for that. But before then, I want you to, you know, have a couple good rounds in, you know, before the, before the big day. So uh, my top tip is actually all setup related. Um, you should make sure that you are squaring up your body. If you're aimed too far to the left with your shoulders and your feet, you're just going to exacerbate your slice. So um, make sure you square up your shoulders and square up your feet and then hit against your body as opposed to hitting down and left with that face open. So if none of that made any sense to you, ask one of your friends that, you know, maybe knows a little bit more about golf. No, just kidding. Ha -ha. Um, in all seriousness, again, congratulations on your engagement that is so exciting and best of luck out on the course have a lot of fun at your engagement or at your bachelor party but um you know not too much fun right okay <laughs> congratulations all right nate i'm gonna teach you how to golf real quick you know like she said keep that left shoulder from going like that keep that one solid aligned your eye on the prize. Boom, boom, directly on that line. Don't judge me for my swing. Oh, I look like Tiger Ryan. Pro tip from Ryan. Hi, Nate. Happy bachelor party. I hope you guys are having a great time. I was told by Pete that I am the closer and the video is getting a little long, so I have to keep it brief. So as much as I would love to go into elaborate detail about how much I love you and Jess as a couple and as individuals and how wonderful of people you guys are, I have to keep it short. So all I'll say is have an amazing time today. I don't want to ice you out on the golf course, so I'm having Pete take care of that for me right now, but have a great time. Can't wait to celebrate with you guys in a couple of weeks. Um, it's going to be a great time. See ya.